Every stitch, cut, and punch honors the red, white, and blue. It's kind of like serving your country on your own terms. Because Cheryl Bartholow says nothing brings Americans together quite like the American flag. She works at the largest manufacturing facility of flags in the U.S. It's called Annan Flag Makers, and it's just a couple hours from Pittsburgh in Coshocton, Ohio. We knew we were in the right place as soon as we got to town. It's the pride of what they make and what they do for the country and for the world, really. It's kept them in this business. Annan Flag Makers first opened its doors in New York in 1847. This is one of the sewing centers. Director of Operations Rick Merrill says the company has grown since then to keep up with the demand for American flags of all sizes. She'll pull the flag up onto the table. Channel 11 got a behind the scenes tour of how they're made. This is the beginning process. Production manager Joe Douglas walked us through. The stripes are sewn together, the stars, or the field, is then attached. And once that's done, then it looks more like a flag on the other table there as they're getting ready to cut it. It's trimmed to 3 by 5 feet or 4 by 6 feet, given a hem and grommets, and it's ready to be packaged. They actually make about 35,000 flags a week here at Annan Flag Makers in Coshocton, Ohio, and they're shipped out all over the United States. Some of these flags even turn up overseas with servicemen and women. We give them two flags, one for them to take, and one for us, and we ask them to fly the flag, then bring it back and tell us where it was. And then Annan Flag Makers hangs it in the lobby for visitors and employees to see. It's a reminder to Nancy Lawson, who's sewn flags for 35 years, that so many stories become part of her handiwork. Being proud of what I do, I mean, I work with a great team and we assemble a top quality product that represents our great nation. The fabric of our nation, one that Nancy doesn't see the demand stopping for anytime soon. Reporting in Coshocton, Ohio, Jennifer Tomazic, Channel 11 News.